All right, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's five o'clock somewhere, and that somewhere is Scarborough, Maine. I gotta go and catch a train in like 40 minutes. We're going to Boston, ladies and gentlemen, escaping the campground and that city, town, slash, place. <laughs> And stuff, boat truck, something that I forgot from the city. When you live a little bit away from the city, especially in a campground, you forget about truck. I like being in the city. Seriously, it's it's good. It's driving. It's, it's dirty, but it's full with people. Damage, damage. No, dynamic. You know what I mean? I like the city. I'm a city kid. I grew up in the city. A big city. Well, big city. Not like Boston, but the biggest in Bulgaria. The biggest thing I had. Come on, give me a break. Thank you. Also, when I uh, saw the working hours at the both museums, uh, finally I decided that we were going to the science one because the science opens from 9 to 7 and the fine arts closes at 5 and opens at 10. No fun for you, skateboard people. No fun for you. <sighs> no, a wonderful, a wonderful place for just sit down and read a few red bread berry stories. I just read a very interesting red bread berry story. That finished so weird. I don't know, red bread berry is fiction. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is, the Science Museum. I'm going to be sitting 
bare metal post directly connected to ground. So if it's the rubber tires that keep you safe, this is going to be a much more abrupt ending to the show that I planned on, isn't it? <laughs> on the other hand, if it's the metal that I'm surrounded by and which nearly all cars are made out of, I stand a chance of surviving. Remember that metal is a good conductor, meaning the charge travels easily through it. And because it goes so much more easily through the cage than through myself, essentially all the charge goes through it rather than through me. Secondly, because lightning changes quickly, the changing motion of charge makes changing magnetic forces that keep it on the outside skin of the metal. That's why it's called the skin effect, and it's the second factor keeping me safe, even as I touch the inside of the cage, as the outside is filled with sparks approaching a million volts. As you know, it's quite loud, so please cover your ears. After running through everything else into the boat wings into the museum, I decided, I, first off I found out where the planetarium is and I decided that it's a good end up to go on a planetarium thing and apparently there is going to be something in the, to return you right now, it's free time, the moons and after that there is a discovering the universe or something, I don't know, but I, did, I remember that I bought a ticket for 11 for the train which is insanely late, I have to go and see can I change my tickets or earlier train because I don't want to stay around here till 10 at night, 11 at night. <laughs> yet boop to do tour and yet again I got the kicked out because hey my filming career is marked with kicking, kicking out of places and having trouble with authorities. I was testing my brand new lens that I got with me today in Boston and I found I really want to find like a huge building that has columns or at least something that I can picture from underneath so I can take the whole thing but uh, I took a few pictures and a police guy came to me and told me that it's a state property and I'm not allowed to take photos Missed a lot. 
last train before 11.30, 30 minutes ago. So I'm stuck on the station with my Coke and Red Bradbury for the next three hours. Kinda sorta. I'll take it. Good night.